Okay, let's all get in the zone of nice, fresh, good content. <sighs> More! Wow, bedwetters, good morning. Oh, you've taken a little pep in your step and you've taken the hello this morning. Yeah, because we're keeping that cock stuff in, kid. That's how it's starting. No, it's <laughs> not. <laughs> well, we owe the bedwetters a little apology, don't we? Well, we... I now, do. I'm, who are we looking at over here? I owe the bedwetters no, an apology. Not throw Willie so far under the bus that it was his fault. I'll I dive know. under the. <laughs> I'll dive under that bus. I feel mean. What the fuck did we do? Just a beautiful podcast that I destroyed with my. Do you know? You what? know what? You know what? Who you were? You know who we were in that last podcast? You we were. were the, we were Keanu Reeves. Da Vinci's the Mona Lisa, and you would just stop oil. <laughs> throwing orange shit all over yeah. it and throwing paint. You, you threw it. paint over a masterpiece. I was that lady <laughs> screaming when Donald Trump got, got elected. <laughs> That's what I did to this podcast. Correct. Do you know what I will Correct. say? What is the funniest thing that has come out of this? Like, we genuinely finished the podcast and Willie was like, oh, fuck. You know, we've got an issue. We, Jarch and I were actually pretty fucking devastated, as yeah. you would be. Yeah, like, yeah, this yeah. is our baby. Now, all the bedwetters are coming to me like, oh, classic marketing ploy. The podcast is shit, but the Patreon's fine. Hey, guys, have you listened to us for the last two years? We're fucking idiots. There's yeah. no chance we could come up with that genius it, idea. Yeah. And like, I, what? Also, I'm not with <laughs> The tinfoil hats have really come out. Yeah. I'm not willing to ruin an episode to force someone to sign up for one. It, it doesn't make any sense no. to me. But I do respect it. Mm. They've also hit the nail on the head. That's exactly yeah. what we did. We cut said, that bit, fuck. Willie, of us yeah, announcing that, that we actually that. Yeah, did cut, do that. Cut as that a bit. Yeah, I'll cut that. Conspiracy theory. It so also that, makes me look way better. Yeah, 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 yeah correct, too, correct. Yeah, it was it was a conspiracy. Willie, nah, yeah. tried to make it. It didn't work. It was a conspiracy. Now, Willie, what do you have to say to all the um, senoritas, the bedwetters? Sorry, guys. You're very sorry. I'll be better. You're, very, you're very sorry, aren't you? I am very sorry. His punishment is no pre-podcast pashes and no post-podcast pashes. Now, you haven't got one pash since, have you? I haven't. We've stuck to our word, haven't we? Yes. You have. Just the, been Jarch and I. Just dotheth know that... Uh, just uh, dotheth know that we will reinstate the pre-podcast uh, pashes. I have to that's, earn it. That's, but you've got to earn it, Daddy. You'll have at least a week or two off. At least a week or two. Now, I might come back with a pep in me step next week and want... I'll, I'll well, want it's that. a joint decision. Yeah, but... We both get to decide who joins I, I know, the Luke, PPP. I know, but if you There's not one ruler to rule them all. I understand that, but have you ever seen me with a pep in my step? I just saw it this morning. Yeah, you, you both tried to scare the fucking life out of me and both failed, I would argue, miserably. <laughs> we So Willie and I were sitting here and, and Jarch goes two seconds away and Willie and I look at each other and we're like, fuck yes, let's scare him. I didn't realise that Willie said... I'll set the camera up in here. So in I wait studio. outside in the studio. So I wait outside for probably five minutes, like filming myself, being like waiting for Jarch. Turn the camera around, Jarch comes, I hear his little clompers, his little his little fancy Clomp boots. Clompers. Little clompers clomping along. And then I go, Give me all your money. Jarch doesn't even flinch. Like not even a a, a top, like you literally did not even flinch. And I go, I've got a gun, give it to me. And then we got come inside and I go, how did you not even? And then Willie goes, ah! And I go, ah! You had your high pitch, I just look at Willie, I go, oh. And you had this high pitch squeal and Willie was like, dude, what the fuck, we organised this. It was, How did you get scared? It was it was it was our <laughs> scare cam, and I'm the one who suddenly got scared. Oh fuck! What you got? To, Ow! I just pricked myself with. Jarch just put a pin in his uh, finger. Safety pin, <laughs> more like da more like dangerous. Uh, well, you pin, know, more like danger, danger pin. That wouldn't happen if we had it's an HR. Good. It's not good because there'd be a cleaner in here. Do we have a cleaner? Yeah, he comes every Friday. No, we don't. Oh, we do. Yeah, but does he clean? Because the place every Friday. Isn't very clean. No. <laughs> not a very clean place, is it? Especially if he's coming every Friday. Well, it's only once a week is what I'm saying. It should be twice a week. Oh, get your mind out of the gutter, Louisa. You are just... You're, you're pathetic. Now, can I say something to you? Loving the fit. Thank now, you. Now, can I tell you who you look like? You look like a, a female version. Like a, It's like a female version of... um. Like, you know how there was a real trend in early 2000s hip-hop where they'd wear khakis? 
Yeah. That's what it reminds like, me of. Like Honey, the dancer. Kind of. And I, Dr. Dre, she, they wear the car keys. I took a photo you. in the mirror like this before I left and I thought, I'm giving Nigel Thornberry. Yeah, it's a bit of safari about and it. now I can't unsee it, but I love it. This is a little Venroy fit. A vet. It's a Yeah, it's a vet. It's, it's, it's an oversized khaki jack with a little matching Good. skirt. Yep, nice. Skirt. Skirt. <laughs> Good little matching skirt. Uh, but look, bedwetters, we are we are we are ter- truly terribly sorry about oh. the last podcast. But shit happens. We move yes. forward. We trudge through. You've all been great sports about it. We don't need to vilify Willy. We don't need to willify Willy. Question anymore? Should we probably check that this audio is fine? I would. D- I'd say let's, so. Let's let's pause for a moment. Hold fire, bedwetters. Do, do, do you know what I love? BRB. Is that we've just we've all gone okay? Moving forward, let's just do a little test trial thing, and then we'll kick the podcast off. First episode back, didn't do it. Well, if if we were in, a, you know, say what's another type of media that we could possibly be oh, in? Shit, I don't even know. Um, Especially one with a specific time slot. But 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 mm. it's on the tip of my tongue. Tickety tongue. Breakfast TV? radio. Oh, if we were in that, that always pre-check. The audio, and I think that's why it jumped to my mind that we should probably check. How the fuck? Listen, I love that you sit over there with this arrogance, like you know other mediums and like you've worked elsewhere. And how the fuck would you know about breakfast radio? Uh, Have you heard of Fitzy and Whipper? (laughs) What? Yeah. Well, uh, I, me, Louisa Claire Delden. Yeah. Thirty years old. I used to work for them. Work for them for for two (laughs) years. As a producer. <laughs> yeah. Louisa, yeah. you've never once mentioned it. Well, I'm telling you now. You know that, Willipedia? I had no idea. How <laughs> many bedwitters? You were a deer with no eyes. But I also don't know how to produce, so. <laughs> That's a valid point. You could use a few tips from LDD. But what you can produce is tremendous content. That has no sound. <laughs> now let's check this fucking let's thing's check. fucking working right, before pause. I fuck myself. Yeah. Hey, Willie, fucking check the audio. Stupid cunt. If you fuck this again, mate, honestly, like I know we've got to put these characters on that we're happy and shit. Behind, oh, uh, oh. But behind the scenes, you know we're monsters, you I'm going to take this shoe. I'm going to throw that it. That fucking Alexander McQueen. It's coming for your head. Yeah. Yeah, she's gonna she's gonna make King hit you with an Alexander. McKinney. I'll actually take that shit, please. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, correct. No. Sell that second hand, kid. Daddy eats. Willipedia's ducking a Fiji for a couple of weeks. Off just off the one shoe, not even the pair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, silence. Audio's good. All right, so yeah, it fucking better be. All right, we're gonna go back. Fucking idiot. We're gonna yeah. go back in three. Two, two, one. one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for checking, oh, mate. You're such a good you? producer, oh, Willapedia. You're so sweet. We you love sweet you, man. <laughs> and, and I hope you enjoy that bottle of um, Moe and that coffee I bought you in this morning and those cookies I baked yeah, you. Yeah, <laughs> also that Johnny Walker Blue Label, that's for you. That's like the $350 mm. bottle of whiskey that I got you. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? I'm going to take you shopping after this. Let's get you a pair of Alexander McQueen's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get you a high class escort. Well,. Jack. Well, I only provided I can watch. <laughs> you know, um, there's a um a strip club, no, a, stri- a gentleman's club in Adelaide called Boob Teak. Isn't that the most brilliant name you've ever heard? It's so funny. And let's duck to Boob Teak for some dinner and boobs. Because gen- gentleman's club sounds... Like it sounds fancy. Yeah. It's like what I think of when it when I when it says gentlemen's club, I think of leather bound couches, cigars, a fucking d- deer's head on the wall, mm. a lit fire. Oh, Jeffrey, darling, this is fabulous. Well, they wouldn't be probably not darling. They'd be like they could oh, call each other darling. Jeffrey. Oh, they're probably with posh, 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 posh English. Oh, darling. Oh, this Cuban cigar is absolutely tremendous. Right? I've had this whiskey for 45 years. Have you heard of this place in Sydney called Twin Peaks? Yes, yes. I've been to Twin Peaks. I went there on a box. I've heard the a lot about it. women come down from the roof. I've actually heard it's fantastic. It is. Well, we should all go. We actually should. I, I actually would love to. Look, it is fucking piss up. I don't think they miss you. We went on a box. Like, that fucking expensive. Went on a box party there. 
And I'm not joking. You're sitting there and you have like a steak. Do you order your steak, mm. right? And you get, what do you want with a steak? Fucking tits, broccolini. Yeah, <laughs> you want a side of um, huge fucking calcium cannons with that? And you're like, yeah, sure. Fucking woman drops from the roof, puts pepper, pepper on your thing, like on your fucking steak. It's like a full show. Like, Thank you, Diamond. Mm. Thank you, Porsche. And you eat your steak and chatting to your mates, and there's just fucking. Women dropping from the fucking roof. That's quite um to show. Well, and they go up and down the tables and that. Sounds like a pink show to me. It was a pink show, all right. Pink the artist. Oh right. When they're <laughs> twirling around in the when they're in the sky, you cracking know? the salt and pepper. Do they check that it's actually coming out? <laughs> yeah, and they so they crack the pepper. Like they go like Guys, this, and then they go. No, is it coming out? No, we're actually go, getting very smutty lately, and I'd yeah, like to like bring this. you to both. It's go, not it. Okay, let me just work that bit. And then no. they go, oh, I'll just check that the pepper's coming out. Yep, there seems to be. Because this is also, um, <coughs> you know, it's a, it's a, it's a duo, and I'm, I'm not happy with all the smutty comments lately. So I'd like you Louisa, to. Louisa, you make 40, like you, 40 to 45% of them. I'd like you to raise the bar, as Jill and Franco would say. Well, when I was in Twin Peaks, don't worry, my bar was raised. Oh, for God's sake. Well, kid, what do you want? I might just have a scroll on the talk. Oh, yeah, what's that? Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good stuff. Oh, yeah. Do you know what would be better? You know how I, I don't really go on TikTok anymore. Yeah, you do. I send you some funny ones and I have to text. Oh, dude. I but I've got to text them to you now. Yes. Do you ever watch them? Because I sent you one the other day. We can't say what it is. Remember? The singing one. Yeah. <laughs> I do remember. Yes, that was brilliant. No, I, te- no, I don't really go on TikTok anymore and I'll tell you why. So I went on there. I said, like, fuck, I'll go for a scroll through TikTok. And I go in, the first video was just a, a chick. It's just another fucking chick lip syncing to a song, doing absolutely fucking nothing, 350,000 likes. And I was like, ah, oh, this, this is a dog shit fucking platform. That's your job. <laughs> uh, but so much of the perhaps, content is toilet. Perhaps roll back and chop chop. No, it? no I'm happy to... Yeah. Post. No, I agree. Oh, La- I think last night I I got a f- I was bored and I got a filter that was rate the potatoes. I beg your pardon. What? There was a filter on TikTok and it said rate the potatoes. Bro, do you know how wildly you mispronounced that before? What? You said uh, of TikTok it was rape the potatoes. No, I did. I swear to God, if we listen back, to- <laughs> if we listen, I, I was like, rate what the- does? <laughs> Right, the so potato. Confused. And so you hold it up to your face, <laughs> yeah. and it comes up with like a spud. Well, obviously it's potato. It comes up with like mashed potato. It came up with like fries. It came up with like a Hasselback potato. It came up with like <sighs> creamy potatoes. And I got to rate them out of ten. Pr- proving my point. I disagree. <laughs> I had a lot of fun. Did you? I had a lot of fun. I looked like a potato in the video, though. Funnily enough. No, you look tremendous. No, you I have actually been walking. did. Look like look. You've been pilates Well, I haven't been walking. Have you asked about my foot? Okay, but any update on the fucking Well, I haven't foot? got the scan yet, but it's still sore. I haven't got the orthotics either. They arrive in two weeks. Yeah, you seem to be trotting along just fine, kid. Disagree. I love that when we were um, <laughs> when we were doing that filming for that te- telly show. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> and you're like, no, charge my leg. It's just, and I'm like, Louisa, just fucking move on. I was like, you, you can't be that but sore. It really hurt. And But what the funniest thing was, you were like, oh, it's just, and we would kept talking. Then you come back to the foot. I'm like, oh, you've got to get over it. And you were like, the more I told you to get over it, the bigger your limp seemed to get. And then you suddenly you looked like an old war veteran from the fucking American Civil War. Just That's come out, how I Just felt. copped a cannonball to the leg and they've had to strap a big wooden leg. One leg was going like this and you're going, I ch- no, it's just. That's uh. how it felt, Jack. <laughs> just the less attention I gave it, the bigger the limp. I went for, <laughs> I went for a walk with TDD when I had the, the really bad limp and he was like, because obviously, obviously he's quite tall so he's got quite a big stride mm. and i could just tell he was like oh, this is just shit this walk because yeah, i'm yeah, like yeah. going oh, th- 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 oh, just mate. like trying to get across and he was like <sighs> like so slow for him i tell you where there has been good content that i've seen on tiktok 
which is very, it, that's the exact thing. It cuts. It's like the girlfriend trying to talk to the boyfriend. They're going for a walk, mm. and she's like, "So basically, it worked." Jenny was thing, and he's just walking normally, and then she just progressively gets quicker and quicker to the point that she's actually in a full on sprint. Till trying still to telling us, trying them. to catch up. Yeah. <laughs> Mate, I reckon if me and Steph go for walks, she's always ten meters behind me. Or if oh, we're walking anywhere, is she a bit of a dawdler? Daw- dawdler. Dwadla, dwadla, dadla, whatever. Say la vie. That's a dwarf dwadler. Well. A dwadler. No, I'm sure it's dwadler. It's dwadler. definitely dwadler. How would you spell oh, that? by the way. D-A-W-D-L-E-R. Happy birthday, Fef. Oh. It's Fef's birthday. Let's call her. She's 82. <laughs> Let's call her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a great idea. She just, um. Let's sing. Which happy birthday should we sing? Happy birthday. How many birthday. are there? I thought there was just one traditional song. Well, there's happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Let's go with the original. Oh. <laughs> hey. Okay. That reminds me. Yep. I've been having, I can't remember them now, but I've been having very vivid, realistic dreams. Same. And I haven't been eating cheese. Oh, I did eat cheese before bed. <laughs> <laughs> I had some um, buffalo mozzarella. Hey, quick question. Oh, for fuck. What's the difference between buffalo buffalo mozzarella and burrata? Because they're so, both in the same ball. But, but buffalo mozzarella comes from uh, buffalo milk. Yeah. Milk. What does burrata come from? Um, burrata milk. Burrata is like another bison type uh, Are you being beast. dead, says? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like another bison type. <clears throat> buffalo mozzarella comes from buffalo milk. Burrata comes from an animal called a burrata. It's a funny cheese, isn't it? They just come in balls and then you cut it. I and hate burrata. Out. Pardon? I fucking hate it. I do agree that it is a bit over um, it's hyped. Like, it's, it's like a like bouncy ball. It tastes like water. Everyone's like, like oh, must get the burrata and nectarine. I'm like, you got to salt that shit. Dude, it's not a good – I don't like it at all. But you've got a very basic pal. Pellet. <laughs> 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 I actually needed to sniff in then. Yeah. But it felt right to do your sniff. Yeah. Uh, let me. Oh, let's see if Jarch was right. While buffalo milk, mozzarella, and burrata cheese may look extremely similar at first glance, they have distinct differences. Buffalo mozzarella is a simple, smooth cheese with a slightly tangy flavour, while fresh burrata is a luxurious, creamy cheese with a soft, runny centre. Hey, champion, I don't hear anything about cows there. Of course you don't. Because of course there isn't a fucking bison-type animal called a burrata. And oh. buffalo, mo- buffalo mozzarella. Hey, do buffalo wings come from buffalo skin? <laughs> there we go. That was a perfect sniff. That was a good sniff. <laughs> oh, so you were fucking with the big dog, LDD. <laughs> I was fucking with you big dog. You were fucking over here with this bitch. I, I'm big, you're fucking. Sorry. <laughs> I fucking beg your pardon? Sorry. I don't know what t- took over me. It was like a someone from like the 1980s gangster just went ba bomf ba bomf okay. okay. She's pretty. She's re- you're really flogging this baboomf train, aren't you? <laughs> nah, it's like you put flogging the sniff train. So we're just doing going with the original happy birthday. Oh, I've forgotten it. Yeah. No, got it. Got it. Hello. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Stephanie. Happy birthday to you. Bip. Hooray! Bip. Hooray! Bip. Bip. Hooray! You're old, bud. Hi. You're ancient, kid. Yeah, my name's Stuffy and I'm 33 and I'm feeling free. 33? Okay. <laughs> you don't look a day over 21. Well? Correct. I, I don't think so. No, you don't look a day over... I'm literally 26. like reading this cook. I literally just cut up heaps of random shit and threw it in the bin. <laughs> what do you mean cut up heaps of random? Like food Context, or clothes? Con- she got some presents this morning. Oh, what presents I got did some you knives. get? Oh. Global knives. Charlie came over and was like, they're the best knives in the world. Oh, fair income. What did Jarch get you? Yeah. That's what I got her. Oh, the knives. I got her knives. Charlie did. A couple of books. I got her a watch. Oh, and I got I'm some- sorry, fancy little senorita over here with the present gifts. And I got her yeah, some I got, scratches. Yeah, he got me a Rolex. Oh, nice. Yeah, fresh Jump rolling. change. Yeah. Jump change with a big dog. I said to the bloke at the jeweler, I said, buddy, anything over 100K? He said this section. I said, give me two of them. <laughs> It's a big snack. Thank you, thank you. Um, and also, also, also. Due to Steph's uh, profession, we've had to cut a bit there because she's a ca- Somehow she didn't realise that. Okay. Wait, I'm doing the podcast. 
Well, I'm doing the podcast. Good podca- morning, everyone. I've just woken up and exercised. I'm just having um, a water and I'm about to have a nice bath and I'm just ready for the day. Yes, Slayeth Queen. Beautiful. <laughs> and I'm a really wholesome bit. person. Insert that bit. I'm, <clears throat> I'm a really wholesome person. Good yeah. girl. You're also a wholesome person. Yeah. yeah. So. Well, we wish you a happy birthday and we hope you read one of those books and chop up some vegetables with your knives and read the time on your watch. Yeah, well, I I was chopping up the vegetables because we're going away and I'm like, I'm just going to chop them all and throw them in the bin. So you're literally wasting fucking food. Well, I just don't know where we're going to use it. You can test them on, like, body parts. Oh, don't Or do it on your leg. Don't. I'm I'm going to stab myself. Okay, now I'm just okay. trying. Now I'm just showing off because I now know you're trying. I'm on the you're trying to be yeah. cool. So you're I'm trying, trying to be cool. so hard to be funny, so I'm gonna slowly hang up. Do you know what okay. I've learned about? Fe- well, I've known this for a long time. It's so funny. Oh no! Because you're no. a fucking because you're a fucking A grade Fruit Loop. So like, she'll be in the kitchen and like she'll be doing something, and she'll just go like, she go, I've I've seen everyone before in her own little world, and she'll say something like that, and I'll start laughing because I'm like, what the fuck is going on through her head, you know? And then she'll hear me laugh, and then I notice that it gets very much more frequent uh, and louder. And I go, "Buddy, you I've killed seen it one time." Yeah, it was funny because that came out of nowhere. Now you're trying to do it. I love that. You know what I mean? It's very yeah. Good. It's kind of like yeah. you mm. every single day. Yeah. If 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 there was a GoPro set up in my house, me living on my own, I would be oh. in an asylum. <laughs> Dude. It'd be Yeah, I would, I've really I've really taken to talking to myself anywhere, anytime and I don't care. Same. I got a new jacket. <laughs> Actually, nah. Yeah. <laughs> I got a new I was about to be like, should I hang up for this one? Because I'm You can you're welcome to listen. Yeah. It's, is it funny? Well, well, well you'll fuck? find out. I don't know. What kind of rude shit is that? <laughs> is it funny? What, Lou starts talking and you're up. like, yeah, okay, right Thanks for the birthday wishes. All right, I better go now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yep, okay, I'm back in bed. Tell me. No, hold on. I, I got this new, like, big puffer jacket and I was obviously woke up this morning and I, like, put it on and I was naked. And I had the jacket on and I was doing a little dance. No, you there. weren't. What? Is that weird? No. Well, I live on my own. I know. <laughs> the only person who saw me was Kevin, oh. my stuffed koala. A little... A little fanny dance. <laughs> oh. Yep, Steph. Oh, oh God. That's the word a, fanny. It's such a fucked word. Fanny. I don't say it. Yeah. But people are called fanny. It's a name. A, a, an old school name. But the, that, that word to describe a money is the grossest word. Like, fa- like what the fuck? I hate that fucking I, word. I, I think... I think Oh Fanny um, Lumsden, she's a great country music singer. She's mm. named that suits her though, but to, to describe a money as a fanny is gross. What about Jamie? Oh, oh Steph. <laughs> You're actually a fuck. You're fucked in the head. Jamie. Hey, this has been great. Happy <laughs> birthday. Happy birthday. We love you. Uh, we'll probably we'll fucking talk to you later, bud. <laughs> love you. Catch. Bye. <laughs> Janey. Ugh. <laughs> the word Janey. And Fanny. Yeah. <laughs> like, dude, think about it. It's like, <laughs> like. Oh, like, look at my fanny. Oh, don't. <laughs> don't. The way you looked at my eyes when you said that. Yeah. It's, a gr- it's just the dumbest word. I've always hated it. We used to call them fennies at school. At school, Like a fence. Yeah, but like a fanny. They'd be like, why? Oh, I've fucking seen a fanny. Why? I think it, maybe that's a bush thing. I don't know. F E N N Y. Yeah, fanny. Any. I don't know. I haven't heard that for so long, but that's... Hey, any country motherfuckers, let me know if you also did that. My brain just went to Fetty Wap, the rapper. Well, Fetty Wap. Fenny Wap. It's a wet-ass wet pussy. pussy. Make it drop. That's a wet-ass pussy. Get a bucket and a mop. You want to play Red Light, Green Light? I'd love to. Great. Let's get out it's of it. It's taken a turn. Yeah. It's taken a turn. It has, and it's... No, it's... We're, uh, we're uh, raising the bar, Jack. Now, you're, kid. You, yes. I'm going to start. Well, are you going to do a jingle? No, no, no. You're doing the jingle. Well, give me a genre. Operatic. Uh, uh, opera music. Red light, green light. Uh. Just divine. <laughs>
on an April afternoon. Yeah, she's, she's, she's done what Steph does. She got a little bit of... A little bit of pep. A little bit of pep in the step kept going with it. A little it. bit of pepper and salt. Speaking of fannies, red light, green light, something that rhymes with it, nothing to do with it really. Eggs Benny. Red. Red. Red, red, red. That sauce is fucked. Dude, the sauce is fucked. Disgusting. Despicable. It's like a mayonnaise on eggs. What? What is it? It's, what, it's, what is it's it? It's yolk. It's hollandaise. What is hollandaise sauce? It's made out of uh, egg yolks, butter, and lemon. Say, that should be good. It's disgraceful. It fuck. It, I, I just, and it's so yellow and orange, and it's like sticky and which hard. One? All of them. Yellow and orange. Well, they're a mix. It, it varies on the colour chart, Jake. <laughs> Does it? It varies. L- L- Larissa. Yes. Um, oh, get that down, Willie. Yeah, that's that's more like. Get that down. It's disc- And also, can I say something else? Eggs Benedict, if you're getting it, should be eggs and bacon. Salmon and that hollandaise sauce and eggs, go fuck yourself. Oh, has it always got salmon in it? Some people have Sam with it. I think that's eggs Florentine. No, you can get eggs Benedict the salmon. <laughs> Willie's got this good knowledge of his eggs. Oh, oh, well, you know me, I don't like yolk. So if I'm ordering eggs, I'm getting hard boiled at the cafe. Cafe. Yeah, we understood. Just checking. Yeah. Just checking. Yeah. Your whole life's a yolk. <laughs> no, we shouldn't laugh about it. No, we shouldn't. But <laughs> uh, if we don't laugh, we'll cry. <laughs> Correct. Eggs that's, Florentine that's Don't Florentine. you think eggs Looks and salmon. Similar. Don't you think eggs and salmon don't mix? I don't think salmon for breakfast is a fucking should be a thing. No, it's quite common at cafes. Which is fucked. Well, I disagree. I think you can have a bit of salmon for breakfast. No. It's good protein. It's, you know, it's good for you, but. Fish for breakfast? Yeah, you're having fish on dates, though, you sick fuck. What? You- you're a you've fishy got breath. to get over you're a, this. You're an FBF. You're a fishy breath fucker. Go into the bathroom and have a Mentos. Have a Wrigley's. Have an extra. Yeah. And come back to your date. Yeah, or have, skip that step entirely and don't have fish on the date, but it's you like, fucking idiot. Imagine going to Japanese and then going, you eat sashimi and you're going, oh my God, no, because I have fishy breath. No, no, sashimi is different because it doesn't smell like fish. That fishy fish that's cooked brings out the flavours no, and the smell. No, f- you can still get fishy fit. It's like, imagine if you went to Japanese and you had raw tuna. Fish, raw fish don't smell like that Imagine shit. if you had tuna rolls. Charles? Yes. That's what I mean. Don't do that. You're don't not going to not eat something because of your breath. Uh, yes, you fucking are, you serial killer. Well, I went on a second date with that fish guy. Yeah, and he probably went back to his friends. He's like, bruh, old fishy breath over there. Why didn't it make a third date? Probably because of old... F- <laughs> FBB, Frishy, no, no, FBD, uh, Fishy Breath Dalton, FBD, right, the big dog FBD, yeah, right. mate, it was, no, we went in for the kiss and I literally just woke up on the floor 10 minutes later with someone fanning my face and they're like, why, because that fishy breath. No, but that's the same as like if you have too much garlic, G- you, can, just, you can, you know, correct. you won't attract a vampire. I want to suck your blood. Well, if it's a date, they won't be wanting to suck blood, let me tell you something, I'm going to suck something else. Now, fishy breath, Dalton, you're telling me you're happy to go on a date, right? Completely disregard the fact that you might be kissing an individual and take precedence over the – the food takes precedence over the date. Do you think that that means subconsciously I didn't like the person? I, I'm ordering fish. Do I look like a motherfucking therapist? Yeah. I just think – No, ra- we feel like we're in therapy chairs, so Thiers. elaborate on this for me, please. I think – Dr. No, Jake? no, I don't think that. I think you simply run your own race, and if you saw fish on the menu, you go, "Yeah, Mama's gonna eat that fish because it looks good." Yeah, irrespective of the breath that comes but doth if, with it. If Steph ordered fish now, would you be off it? Like if TJ no. date no, 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 fish, no, no, I wouldn't no. give a fuck, buddy. This is the early datings. This is the, I couldn't give a fuck what anyone eats. But if I'm on an early date, I'm not. I'm not. If I'm on first or second date, let me give you that tip. I'm not getting fish. But that's even. It, it, the, I suppose there's date etiquette, but that's even like saying you can't order spicy, saucy, ranchy, raunchy, uh, ranchy wings because you're getting them all over your finger and then you're licking them and then you've got I wouldn't, sauce everywhere. I, I wouldn't order my favourite thing, wings, on a first or second so date. So what are you ordering? Like a fucking one piece of schnitzel, no sauce? Hey, buddy, I'll give you the hot tip. On the first date, we're not eating dinner. Oh, that's right. You like to take it's drinks. drinks. You don't go for dinner on the first but date. But you're having snacks. Nobody's yeah, having a drink have without snacks. a snack. Oh, look, little fries. Mmm, potato. Cool. Oh, bit of, bit of fucking, uh, fucking tomato sauce. Sweet. Tomato yeah. sauce, breast bully. It's not a thing. TSB. Tomato sauce, breast bully. 
Test double B. T- I, I'm happy with it. But you know what I mean? On, on, on a first date, it's just like, let's go for drinks. Let's see where the night takes us. I'm not taking you for dinner on the first date because dinner is stuffy. Dinner is awkward. You know what I mean? Like, it's just not in my no, fucking wheelhouse, but You just didn't like them enough. B- bullshit. It's okay, test tube. You're all right, buddy. <laughs> Maybe I was concocted in a lab. You were. Concocted. I'm happy with that. <laughs> well, come on. Well, I'm going. Sorry. Red light, green light. Taking your shoes off at the movies. Mm, have we done this one? If, no, we've done it on aeroplanes. Oh, we have. Uh, absolutely fucking not. <laughs> yeah, I agree. But then sometimes if you're in the um, the layout ones. Bruh, if someone, just keep your fucking, what the fuck is with people these days, bruh? Zero but shame. You don't reckon like. Keep your fucking shoes on. I don't need your stinky ass feet getting in my motherfucking way. But what if your feet aren't stanky? But what if they are, bud? That you run a risk. Because I want to say it's it's red, but then I just have this feeling that I've done it before in gold class. <laughs> uh, I dare say I only go to the movie cinemas that match my shoes. Now, these golden geese, yeah, they're coming off, but not in VMAX, nor even the basic level. These golden geese are coming off in gold class only. Don't act like you don't Clippity go Liberty Liberty clap, bring you, me my shampoo. You go to gold class movies. You bet your bottom fucking dollar I do, kid. And you spend about $45 on treats. No, but I, I, um, I, I, I'll go VMA. Well, it just depends. I'll go gold class on a film that I'm really, really excited to see. Generally, though, if I'm going to the picks, VMAX. <laughs> I'm going VMAX. Okay, so we're we're so hold on. So red. you're you're saying gold class? You're whipping the you're whipping the fucking I'm not saying off. I'm saying it's red, but I I'm being a hypocrite because I have a vivid memory. I think of me potentially taking the shoesies off. I'm just in a you know it's just for me. It's like what the fuck is just keep your shoes on. You know what I mean? Like are your shoes I, no, that are I'm agreeing with you that yeah. especially if you're in gold class, your feet are. And with golden right geese on, I mean those things should have golden like mass golden gooses. They should have ma- uh, geese is the plural to to goose. Well, you see, I wear them because it's a memoir of how the geese would flap our wings, flap their wings, sorry, and break your legs. It's a memoir, like it's a book of yes, someone's life. I wrote a book about it. It's in the it's in the making. You can write. It hasn't been published. That, there's a shock. No, it's about to be. Penguin Publish House has come to me and said, Hatchet actually, <coughs> have come to me and said, we'd love a memoir on the how the geese would flap their wings and break your ankles. So it's like a, a page-long memoir. How long can oh. you talk about that for? I, I got uh, notes from my nonno, so they were obviously his geese. Oh, nonno is the male. Yes. Nonna is the female. Correct. Right. Your turn, <laughs> Jake, Jed. Red light, green light. Vladimir Putin. Red? He's bad. Are you, are you, are you going to try and sit here and tell us you're not some sort of a rough Russian infiltrator? We may and really know your fucking secrets, kid. I heard you the other day. The, oh, fuck, what's a Russian accent? <laughs> you were on the phone. You're going, hello, hello, hello. Yeah, we have infiltrated, that's German. Yet. I have infiltrated this podcast world in Australia. I'm sending out to the masses. Were you just lying in bed and you're like, what can I do for a red light, green light? Huh, that. Vladimir, yeah, I think he was on the news or something. Right, red. Interesting. Yeah, I'm red too. Are you uh, saying red because it's the red state? You're a commun- You're a famous com- You're a Soviet? Sometimes I would like to. You're a Soviet apologist? Sometimes I would like to hurt you. Get over a here. lot. Get over here, kid. Give it a crack. Okay, a bed would have seen this one. It's pretty fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> Pooing straight after you hop out of the shell. Fucking red. I mean, like, you've come got, on. You've got to do it before. I've pre, had to do pre, that before. And I'm like, shower poops. Piss peas. Yes. You, you you don't want to do a PSP, a post shower poop. I've had to do it before and I've been... Did you get back in the shares? I have, I have. Because I'm like, this just feels like a... That felt like a waste. It feels like a waste of a shares. It doesn't it? Of a shower. It does feel like a waste of a shower because... Because now you sh- you've shit. <laughs> 
and oh. now there's poo particles all through the air. Ooh. And you're like, well, I was all fresh before. Now uh, post it. Was she green? Or no, no, she, she just was tossed red. you the question. She was red. Yeah. Anyone who's saying green is fucked. Yeah, if you're willing to uh, jump in a shower and then happily take a shit after your shower, you need to have a good fucking hard look at yourself in the mirror. <laughs> a good hard long look at yourself. Because, <sighs> like, what the fuck, dude? Yeah, usually you just poo in the shower. I sorry. <laughs> you are a waffle stomper. <laughs> you, you are a waffle imagine stomper. Imagine doing that. What do you mean, imagine? Two birds, one stone, kid. Hey, there's nothing better than the smell of shit in a steamy hot oh, box. Oh, yuck, Jack. An enclosed box. Don't, <laughs> You please. get to experience in full HD. Don't. That's <laughs> disgusting. Yeah, huge dump. Hey, okay. Next one. No, no, please. no. Well, I need to, like, <laughs> it's, this is just as crook. Mm-mm. No, no, because it makes you feel bad. But, like, you ever just farted in, the sh- in a really hot shower? <laughs> it is. Like you hop and you're like somehow the steam like enhances oh, yuck. the fart. Tell me you haven't. I I don't think I have. Kid, you're the crop dusting queen. Oh, don't from Aberdeen, Jack. <laughs> no more stew. <laughs> you stinky little fucker. Of course you've done it. I have not. Batuta did an article about it a few years ago. Batuta. A toot up. Yeah. yeah. Man experiences well, fart in the shower well, in full HD. <laughs> yeah. Good stuff. Move on to the next one. Red light, green light. Coriander. Green? Okay. We've done this before. Have we done coriander? We've done every red light, green light twice. Uh, well, there's no- <laughs> <laughs> Jump on in for round two of everything we've ever done. <laughs> yeah, correct. This can this podcast will literally just be a merry go round. <laughs> We'll get back to the start, and then we'll like start getting to know each other again. So where'd you go to school? Wait, and did you, were you did, were you the guy in the billboard? Yeah, or? yeah, yeah. Um, so g'day guys, we just started. This is the first episode. We've <laughs> Welcome just started back. the podcast. Welcome back. This is the first episode of We Mean and Well. So you were from Walka. Walka, Wal- and you're from Palmerston North. Yes. And so, what was your mum and dad's name? Candle and Sign. That's right. What was yours? Fron and Jan. I haven't spoken to Frank in so long. Let's do a prank for him. Can we? Yes, come up with one. Dude, do the fucking the do, oil do the rig. oil rig one. Yeah. Come right. on. That's enough Let, red light, green light. Let's prank Frank. Yeah, Let's fuck, prank we've, we've done all these fucking red light. Yeah. <laughs> Coriander, green, fuck it. Yeah, whatever. I'm green too. Okay. Clap for me, please. Oh, for fuck's sake. Every time she just, she needs applause. Other, oh, it's like, <laughs> it's like food for her. Okay, we're it's about to shut the fuck up. Clap for me. <laughs> that was a. <laughs> that's how we start every. Uh, se- that's how we start every segment. Clap for goes, me. Okay, gentlemen, clap for me. And we clap, and she goes. I'm okay. ready. I'm re- now. Now I'm doth ready. Okay, we're gonna prank Franco. <coughs> Franco. Right. And we're going to pretend that I'm, uh, I've been offered an influencer job in the mines. As a diesel mechanic? As a diesel mechanic in Perth? Yeah, say Western Australia. Okay. He, he, he probably won't answer. Uh, yeah. Oh, damn it. And then who We've done we, all this prep that's with you. That's what I mean. He'd fucking want to. I'll be fucked off. Have you tested that it's connected? Crazy, crazy kid. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> yes, hi, you've reached. Franco, pick your fucking phone up. Yeah. And that's coming from me, a notorious piece of shit that doesn't doesn't answer texts or phone calls. Let's try one more time. Otherwise, you two, you two use your brains and think of something for TDD. All right. Because I haven't told him I'm doing the podcast at this time. Oh, he texts me saying in a meeting. Oh, fuck. Franco, when are you available for Prankos? Damn it. Okay, let's actually... Franco didn't work. Franco didn't work. TDD, we couldn't come up with a prank. Let's call your brother. It's his wedding on Friday. Yep. And say, do you, say you can't get there until an hour before the wedding. Yeah, yeah, say yeah. Say a yeah. brand deal's coming. <clears throat> let me just see. Let me just see. This is right. actually very cruel. I, I know. But He'll I'm, be so stressed already. Correct. <laughs> I'm going to have to play this well, though, because he also does know we're doing the potty. Let's just see how this goes. Okay. But then again... Yeah, fuck it. Lebelay Ganjabalui. Lebelay Ganjabalui, what's going on, brother? Nah, not. 
fucking poking north there, son. Poking. Dude. Yeah, mate. Just, um, we just knocked off. We're fucking, um, I'm about to go pick up Dougs from the airport. Shit, yeah, brother. Oh, he's not getting a fucking taxi over to uh, the studio there. Oh, mate, I'm fucking, I'm right there and we've knocked off. I said, I might as well just come and pick you, save him money. It's only a few minutes away. Yeah, copy, dude, 100%. So he's, he, he's cut down and ready to fucking ram? He's ready to ram, but he Bro. is. Mate, we've just, me and Lou have just fucking been offered a, basically like a brand deal thing that needs to be filmed tomorrow. It's for a big streaming service. It needs to be filmed yeah. tomorrow. What time is your wedding? Ah, uh, fuck it. Uh, the wedding's at, um, what time is it? Three. Wedding's at three, dude. <laughs> what time? Wedding's at three. What? I need to what? film in the morning. I need to film it in the, it's like big fucking dough. I'm just trying to weigh it yeah. up, dude, because I know it's important. It's your wedding and that, but like, this also, <laughs> made, <laughs> I, you know, I know <laughs> that sounded yeah. fucked. That sounded <laughs> fucked, but it's <laughs> no, also my right. career. You know what I mean? So. <laughs> You're fucking kidding. <laughs> no, I understand, but just don't miss the wedding. I won't. I'd probably, I'd likely get in at about fucking one, one thirty. Ah, uh, is that all right, Lou? Yeah. Yeah, that's all right, mate. Yeah, no, that's fine. As long as it's like it's important to your career, mate, I guess that's fine. It is, mate, like heaps. Nah. And I know your wedding's yeah. important, but fuck. You know, guys, I've got, <laughs> I've got to jump in here. You two are the <laughs> sweetest <laughs> souls. The fact that you're like, yeah, that's sweet. Rock up an hour before my wedding. I'm Holy emceeing, shit! I'm just saying the fucking I'm, thing. Oh I'm my just, god! I was just gonna say, mate. I'm just gonna go and I'm just, uh, I just say to loose like, is this guy fucking serious? <laughs> <laughs> I love I love the fact that you're both like, yeah, that's fine. Uh, Luce was like, yeah. And then Henry were like, are you fucking serious? And then you were like, but yeah, that's oh, sweet, mate, if it's important. Oh, that was Just good. Day 1.30, I know you are fucking shithouse have been on time. Like, if he misses his fucking wedding. <laughs> oh, that was so good. Uh, What'd you say, Lou? Go and we think one day we'll quit our job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was, was good stuff, guys. At the signs, mate. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. I think oh. I think I played that oh, very you, straight. Very good. Fucking hook. Your hook line is sinking me because I've listened to a few of your guys, Frank, and fucking hell, Lulu, you hook a few of them. <laughs> 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 Holy shit. Oh, good stuff, guys. Um, and, uh, well done, guys. Mate, Thank you very much. I'll actually be me. seeing you in a couple of hours. How exciting. Uh, looking forward to it, mate. That's good news. Have, <laughs> have the best day tomorrow. Thanks, Lou. Oi, can I also, uh, can I also yeah. say something? You know what I love? Yeah. You're a police officer of the law, and then you said in the phone, where you were driving, you go, oh, fucking coppers. <laughs> yeah, mate. <laughs> Mate, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a copper, mate, but I'm not a high patrol copper. There's a big difference. Bro. <laughs> Brilliant. Fair. Fair. All right. Oh, See you thanks, soon. Guys. Love you. Love you, Root. Oh, that was funny. The, that honestly brought, like, my heart was like, oh, when they were like, yeah, that's, no, that's fine. All good. We get it. You, how sweet. I I'd tried like, to, I tried to push him by playing a selfish cunt. Like, yeah. I know your wedding means a lot in that, but, like, my career is really important. Like, oh, oh you said that. I and know. you were like, it's <laughs> good dough in my career. I wanted to I've punch never, you in the face. I have never, ever yeah. said, like, like, it's my career. Like, fuck you. Oh. I talk, we talk shit. Shut the fuck. Yeah, that, well that actually killed me. Pound it, brother. Sorry? Pound my hand. I, I beg your pardon. That doesn't sound Fist any... It. Oh, Louisa. Fist my hand, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Willie, when she starts doing that, stop. Do your zipper back up. We've said this. Louise, I'm sorry. Now, Wilbert, get off your phone, Jack, and jump on the hotline for us, please, sweet Willie. No PPPs yet. I know you're looking over here to have some fun. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, the sniffing. We've just clapped for Lou again. Now, that was a very good little segment, wasn't it, buddy? Thank you. Yeah, and who's very clever? Me. Exactly right. Yes. I'm chill. I'm very clever, aren't I? You doth the queen of cleverness. The, 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 the doth the queen of the Rotheth Bay with her new orthotics. Rotheth. Rotheth <laughs> Bay. Uh, Okie dokie, smoky fucking chokey. So this better uh, bedwetter emailed in. It's a long one. Yep. But she 
She yeah, emailed and asked specifically. I believe in you. Okay, better be no more than 55 seconds. I guarantee it is. I can't say off speakerphone. Hey Lou, hey Dutch. Um, I have a bit of a red light, green light for you guys. So, uh, red light, green light, uh, you're staying at a guy's house who you've been seeing for the past couple of weeks um, and you've just finished work together because you work together in hospitality. You come home and you go to sleep and you wake up the next morning and the whole bed is wet. Because he <laughs> pissed the bed, and then um, he's still asleep, and you've noticed it. Oh. And then he wakes up and he notices it, but he tries to like no, make it don't. like not noticeable that he's noticed it, and he doesn't know if I've noticed it. And then he says, "Oh, do you want to go have a shower together?" So we go have a shower together, and then he mysteriously needs to take a work phone call, and then. Proceeds to come into the room and flip the mattress upside down oh. and try and hide it, and then um, has to go to work and leaves me here. And the piss chief is still on the bed, and I don't know what to do. Anyway, uh, so it looked like good night. That it's it's a, anyway. I love the potty. Uh, so much love. Bye. Love you, buddy. Bed for life. Bed was for life. I feel for the kid. Don't you just own it? though? No. If you think you can get away with it, you get a, try and get away with it. Dude, are you serious? If you're like seeing a girl you like her, you're fucked, you're in the bed, you're like, this is great. You, sorry? Jack. What? We promote bedwetting and now you're trying to hide it? No, 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 but I'm saying no, but he might no, not be. I'm no, a bedwetter. We no, own bedwetting. No. But he might not. He's not a bedwetter, you clearly. He's a bedwetter. are a piece of shit. Yeah. Oh, we're not. That wasn't a moment. We're not. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, Please don't try and kiss me ever again. <laughs> <laughs> there will be contextual relevance for that when some content comes out a little bit later. Um, not the kid. I'd backtrack if I was you. It's a green. I'd own it, kid. It's a green. It's a green to pissing the bed. She hey. also mentioned in the email he was 35. Green. <laughs> green. In fact, he should have golden showered her. He should have just stood up and urinated on her. We've always said that right? the older the bedwetter and the sheet of the... Fine, fine. You're okay. And the... You've got to push yourself. You're all right. It's okay. Hot. There we go. Hotline. There Hot. you. Good, good girl. Piss. Atta girl. There we go. Very clever. Yeah, you're all right. Just <laughs> take a breath. <laughs> or 400. <sighs> uh, yeah, fuck poor cunt. Okay. Guys, look, guys, that was a really tough listen. Yeah. I'm really yeah. disappointed. But, you know, what do you expect from, from a fucking, just a bloody not high, highbrow podcast? Yeah. Yeah. Listen, listen, it's just not acceptable. <laughs> These kind of things wouldn't happen if, if bloody Dior was here, would they? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Step it up, Willie. And it's just... Step it up. No. Beautiful fucking cunt. Good night. It's night. Just, no. No, she's right. She's she's dead right. Uh, no, and Louisa, she's on no. the money. Have you reflected on your your behaviours? With really? a pedia? I have. I haven't slept since. Well, good. I well, hope it, the insomnia stays. Yeah, and I hope it does too. And also use this inflection, Willipedia, with yeah, us. Yeah, sorry, that's what you do. I you? have just, I just can't sleep. Yeah, oh, no. oh, oh, no. And I good, get and, it. We get it. And it's fair enough you can't sleep because you absolutely royally fucked our podcast. Literally fucked it straight you, in the door. Yeah, it's... And we're, ju- oh. and we're sick of it. No, I've had no, it. No, and we're Jack. sick of it. I ju- I've, I'm tired. <laughs> I fucking love that voice. Oh, dear. There's a few of them like that. Is there? Not the voice, but the general theme is... Ah, uh, yep, 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 yep. Perfect. Yep. Episode 144 can fix the fucking shit for the fucking Patreon, but you can't fix it for us fucking bottom feeders that are going to listen to it that can't afford to fucking pay it. So fuck yourself, Jarchi, you fucking fun dog. You're all loose. Thank you. I'll take that. Hey. Finally. You're dead right, kid. <laughs> hey. The conspiracy's right. We had a big marketing ploy. We, yeah. had, we had hundreds and thousands of dollars behind this ploy. Correct. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And it worked. Ah, 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 ah. Ah. This is 
been years in the making. We yeah. said when we get to episode one forty four, we're up to one forty four. One forty four. We said let's fuck the audience. Let's absolutely fuck it. Right. Let's righteously, rightfully fuck it. Yeah. Let's 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 do what Napoleon Bonaparte did to Anne Boleyn. Really royally fuck her. Let's do what Aristotle did. Oh, to for fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Next one, Wilbur. Was that a name, Anne Boleyn? Well, 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 well. <laughs> you give us shit for using the fucking speakerphone, which I am on right now, but fuck you, Luke. <laughs> and you release a fucking audio fucking thing like that. What the fuck? Funny shit. That's in relation to the most recent episode, by the way. Yep. Fucking disgusting. Disgrace. Yeah. And yet you fucking, your patron guys, oh, someone's doing some money grabbing. <laughs> you little naughty senior inches, aren't you? Oh, <laughs> aren't you? Gosh. Anyway, bye bye. Love, love you. Love you. Hey, aren't you? Love you. Uh, well, I'll just say one oh, thing. Oh, it's good stuff. You've got to get off speakerphone. I and reckon he sounded great. Was that? Well, it sounded better than our fucking podcast. A lot podcast. fucking better. We bit. sounded like we were in a sub of fucking rain. <sighs> She's done it again. Sub of fucking rain has a real nice feel to it. Second time lucky. Bob, Bob! You're Next really one, you're fogging this fucking bob train, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Judge and I did that on the phone the other day, but I don't. I was in the car and I, for some reason I couldn't do it loud enough. I don't think you realised I was going. Oh, I, I could. I, <laughs> you just thought I was just silent. Do you know it's a it's an it's a Ricky Gervais original. Oh, you're a thing. Have you ever listened to Ricky Gervais's podcast? Whenever he'd say something, he was like playing a character. He'd say something to Carl Pilkington. You yeah. are our Carl. Yes, right. And he go, no, Carl. You know, he's like, uh, it, I mean. They're mollusks. They're not fucking arachnids. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's a compliment that I'm Carl, is it? No. Oh. But I people, think I'm Carl after the last performance. You've got a bit yes. of Carl about Pe- you. People say- You're the Carl, you're the Pilkington. Am I close to Theo Vaughn? I get that a bit. He's tremendously clever, so not really right. in his approach. Next uh, one, Wilbur. So, uh, <laughs> that podcast was fucking shit. <laughs> yep. No, we'll take it on the the lack of I'll take it on chin. the chin. Yeah, you well, you, you actually have one. Have one Let me but. just reiterate, it was me. Yeah, not a ploy. It was. Yeah. I had a fair few DMs being like, "You fucked this one, Lou." Hey, fuck off! It wasn't me. <laughs> yeah. Look, if I look, if I had a big old Nathan Cleary chin, I'd I'd take it on the chin. Or Johnny Bravo. Oh, Johnny Bravo. Correct, Louisa. Great More your speed of things, yep. Um, no. You love a cartoon. Just, you look like the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Do I? Why? <laughs> the way you're sitting in your shoulders. And Am I hunched? And the jacket. Oh, okay. God, you're pathetic. Next one, Willie. <laughs> God, you're pathetic. Being called pathetic is also yeah. funny. Guys, I'm just listening to the latest episode. Oh, for fuck's sake, really. Um, how many times have I got to tell you? Um, off speakerphone, yep. uh, mic up to your mouth, yep. and uh, try not to do the podcast inside of a 40-gallon drum. Yeah. <laughs> Holy fuck. Yeah. I'm only four seconds in, and Jesus. Yeah. Mate, even... Okay, now. Oh, keep doing what you're doing. Keep pissing. Keep yeah, pissing, Brad. Even my mum... Sorry, I just... <laughs> yeah, I saw you touch yourself. Yeah, yeah. Uh... His voice just did something to me. Right. Even my mum, I fucking called mum, just so I was like, I needed to get some fucking logistics for the wedding coming up. And I was, and she goes, hi, darling. And I'm like, here you go. She's like, I'm just listening to the, to your podcast. She's like, it's, it's tough. I'm like, yeah. I, I know. I know. TDD said the same. He goes, it, it's not as bad as you described it, but it's, it's pretty bad. I <laughs> so okay. love, I love that he said, just tr- in future, Try not to do it in a 44-gallon gu- drum like we've actively pursued doing the podcast yes. in a 44-gallon well, we, we drum. The, the marketing ploy. It's the ploy. We sat in it. We, we actually sat in the drum. It's good. <laughs> well, that, well if, if you're a Patreon listener, you, you've got, you got another you got another 20 with the kids, maybe even 30. See how we go. But we love you, Bedwetters, and we're so sorry for the audio last time. And We are truly sorry. We actually are. That's fucking life. Now yep. we get up and we move on. Yep. Get this over it. will be much better. And stick around for some fucking even better chat on the on the Patreon. Also, everyone who's on Patreon, Jarch and I love the big group chat. It is so much fun. Well, hey, buddy. Oh. That's what we tell the Patreon mob. Sorry. Well, you, you sneak peek. Sne- sne- See you soon, Patreon. See you soon, Super Second Senioritas. Hey, guys. We Ciao. love the lot of you. Keep pissing. 
bedwetters for fucking life. And guess what? The best to uh, define out. Just cut it. Cut, cut it. Cut. Willie, shut. Turn the mics off. Turn it off. <laughs>